Hello, Spectres! Spacey Ghost back from the void! First stream of the decade! Man, it's been a hot minute. I apologize, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Silver One! I claim all codes from the packs. Is that a thing? Is that a thing you can do? I don't think so. Not this stream. Hi, Sawin! So, welcome! Now, I don't know how many of y'all have been here since then, but back before, back when I used to live with my aunts, I decided to do a little thing. A little, like, Christmas thing. Like, um... I don't know. Christmas time, holidays, everyone's unboxing, unwrapping stuff, and I got, like, a shit ton of Pokemon cards, and I was like, hey, I like Pokemon. Let's just do it on the channel. And I did. And it was a lot of fun. And, um, last year, like I mentioned in the description, I actually, uh, recorded another one. But, um, it, it ended up being, like, over t two hours long. And I'm like, okay, this is way too much to, like, edit down to, like, 15 minutes or so. So, let's just... Let's just make this a stream. So, it's the year. Technically, this is my third one, but on YouTube, it's my second one. So, hopefully, we can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hi, Akira. Welcome. Apologize for the mess back here, but, like, with me unwrapping so much... It's probably be gonna become more of a mess. Well, that might be off camera. Uh, someone says, I was browsing um, r slash ddlc. I was actually re-watching, well, not re-watching, I never originally watched. But I was re-checking out, I guess, because I've seen some animateds. Um, the Game Grumps playing ddlc. I missed that series. And I think I've been diagnosed with Suyori from our slash DDLC. I don't know, that, that buff Natsuki though. Gwen, welcome! I hope I don't interrupt you when you're at work. Uh, but yeah, before we start, how has everyone's holiday been? Because it's been like literally two weeks? How yeah, yeah, I'd say maybe even longer than that. Yeah, um, I got to see my family. I got to actually spend Christmas Day with, like, my roommates and, like, their family, who I call my second family. <laughs> what up, y'all? Not seen you since last year! <laughs> hey! Um, Akira, it's been great. And Silvalon says it's been good. So when, fun fact, there's a Brazil in Indiana. Interesting. Yeah, it was fun for the new year for us. Uh, new Year's is actually also my roommate Ashlyn's birthday. So we usually throw this big thing. We had like, I think it was like eight hours of D&D &D that we played. Ah, love the spacey jumper. Actually, it's not just a spacey jumper. Hold on, let me remove my giant S binder I have. Ah, can you guys see it? Ah, uh, there it is. It's a mudkip in space that my roommates got me for Christmas. It is my new favorite sweater. Although... It is actually my size. Usually I wear clothes that are like way too big for me. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Cute, a mudkip, yeah! It's my fave. Although I wish the mudkip wasn't like all the way at the bottom of the sweater. Ah, Kira, I had some new games. Finally got Sword and Shield, even though the National Ducks cut still makes me sad. I I think it's no big deal. 
Uh, Becky, love that. I'm gonna continue playing DQX. Oh, oh, Dragon Quest. You were mentioning that in Discord. While watching, yeah. By the way, sorry if I don't get to the Pokemon right away. I just miss you guys so much. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, I, I still don't think the Bre Dexit thing isn't that big a deal. Then again, I play Pokemon for fun. Why is there love hotel emoji? Because, because that's the reason. Um, but since the last Pokemon unwrapping, I've made a huge jump on my collection. Like it grew so much that like I had to get my own separate binder. There it is. To be honest, I'm not that big fan of Snorlax, but like I wanted a specific Pokemon binder and I have all the pages I mean, they're mostly blank because there's like 900 and some Pokemon, but um, all the cards I have so far, um, except for like a special few I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, um, it's all sorted by dex number. I make it a goal to actually memorize Pokemon by dex number, um, but I have no idea how soon that's actually gonna go down. Ah, Quinn says Dragon Quest is great and I force you all to force you to play all of them to be age. <laughs> Man, that would be some kind of trip. Um, originally when I started my channel, I had a goal to like, play all of the Fire Emblems, because I had like the ROMs and stuff for them. Starting with Rika no Ken, I think that's like the first one. Or like the first chronological one, because I know Royce came before that. Um, and, and then I just kept dying, and I'm like, okay, I can't do this. Um, Akira. Oh, wait, no, Swin says, I've been playing so much Mini Metro lately. I I haven't heard of that one. Uh, Akira, Snorlax reminds me of a bear. That's why I think it's cute. Yeah, it's like a weird cat bear thing <laughs> that just sleeps all the time. Is constant hydra hi hi hibernation. That's the word. Yeah, I also got myself for my birthday last year, like on top of seeing Detective Pikachu, these little like mini binders for like my special cards. <laughs> Becky, so Spacey, want to tell your friend what you first called me when I first appeared in chat? <laughs> yeah, so, um, being fresh on streaming and used to slash expecting mostly like shit posting bots well not shit posting because i do enjoy shit posting but i mean I, I mean like um spam bots that's what i meant like expecting gross spam bots to be all over my chat i see i see becky and also because like things are tiny from far away i misread her um username as blow woman <laughs> yeah that was a fun interaction. That was a fun, a, a fun first meeting. Uh, so when Mini Metro is a game where you make a subway system. I'm assuming it's a mobile game. I mean, it sounds like a mobile game. <laughs> Great first impression. Yeah. Um, but this one's kind of broken, so it's just easy to just kind of like slide. The, the important ones. Um, Akira, wasn't Ryan Reynolds awesome? I loved Ryan Reynolds. I love him in pretty much everything. I think one of my favorite um, rom-coms actually is The Proposal, where it has him like in Alaska with... Um, what's her face? Sandra Bullock, I think. Yeah. But also him as Pikachu! And then, also, spoilers at the end. So great. So great. And, and of course he's hot. Of course he's hot. Who, who can... Who, who wouldn't be attracted to Ryan Reynolds? You like rom-coms? Oh, oh yes I do. Me and my roommate Manny, like, had a thing. Because we had, like, the same work shift at one point. Uh, also, forgive me, chat people. And silent spooks and whatnot if I get too distracted with stories and tangents. Hence why this is a chill stream. 
But no, back when we had like literally the same work schedule, he'd pick me up from work and then we'd like throw on the first shitty rom-com we'd see on Netflix. Um, Akira, I love him in Deadpool and I love him in Detective Pikachu. I hope they make a sequel. Or maybe not a direct sequel, but like in the same universe kind of sequel. But, um... <laughs> Quinn, are you gonna make me see a ton of rom-coms? I mean, we do already have plans for Moulin Rouge. At least half of that movie is, is a, a, an adorable rom-com. Yeah, um, the beginning of my special, my special binder. Uh, of course, we start with Mudkips, because I love me some Mudkips. Also, that, that art is so adorable. Just him peeking out from, like, the little thing. And then, of course, more Mudkips. And then we got these bad boys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at this. Look at this. Let me, let me do my, um... Generic M M U A makeup artist YouTuber kind of hands. <laughs> Meanwhile, here I am with my Yu-Gi-Oh card, says Becky. Oh, rom com silver one uh, is romantic comedy, usually pretty lame, and, and it, it's kind of like fluffy. And then I have my awesome Gardevoir and Wally. I, I, I'm gonna start doing that weird hand thing, like watch at the end of the stream, like, unironically. Fun fact, Wally is one of my favorite NPCs. Oh yes, get that HD. Hell yeah. I, he's just so adorable and he tries his best. <laughs> Quinn, I find this really funny because he literally showed me all these in person a few days ago. Yes, but with less nervousness. Oh, you're eating ice cream right now. Cool. Forgive me if I miss some of the chat words. <laughs> so for one, and then there's me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Uh, Makira, I love Sinnoh, the OST. I hope they use the remakes of DP to help the national decks. <laughs> they probably want, well, uh, the silver one. Fun fact, Wally is also banned in the card game. <laughs> Wally needs to be protected. Wally really does. Man, I, I really gotta get back to Ruby. Wait, no, I was playing Alpha Sapphire, never mind. I, I I get so confused which Pokemon games I'm currently playing, because technically I'm still currently on X. Um I just got done with like the whole lore dump thing with like the war and stuff in that game. And then I, I'm on victory road of um let's play Eevee. Or let's go Eevee. And even though I technically am still playing Ruby, OG Ruby, I also started a game of Alpha Sapphire. And now I'm doing a Nuzlocke of Platinum. Uh, Becky, sorry, all I'm thinking about here is Wally. <laughs> Wally. I like, uh, I like Quinn. I know your name. I roleplayed Wally on Tumblr as a trans guy headcanon for a year. IDK, why I didn't say that. That's that's pretty cool. I do like um, the headcanon that Barry um, actually translations into Bianca. I, th I think her name is Bianca. I enjoy that headcanon. Here's my Detective Pikachu cards. Oh hell yeah. Adjust camera, adjust. I also have these two. This one's not this one's not Detective Pikachu, but I think it's really cool because it's like a Gumi made out of yarn. Yeah, um fun fact Queen actually provided me is gracefully loaning me platinum so that I can Nuzlocke, and I'm probably gonna die instantly. Uh, I care. I do love the Galar Pokemon so far, though. It's a good Dex. It's a good Dex. Also, here's um this awesome this cameras, this awesome Torchic that I love. Look at him being a blasty boy, and then this. Ooh, ooh, man. Like I'm not a big fan of um as 
Azumarill? I think that's how you say that. <laughs> but like, the fact that it's a shiny on top of things, I mean, granted, my kick-ass Gyarados is also a shiny. Look at that red boy. Hell yeah. Figured I'd show you guys those ones again, just in case, because <laughs> like, the um, stuff. Uh, Quinn, Fanta, uh, or Fantina, I roleplayed for five years, is a trans woman. Ah! I mean, I knew that, but it's still cool. The gallery designs are surprisingly very good. Um, I have, like, a lot more cards, but those are, like, the main good ones. And by that, I mean more cards in my fancy mini, mini, um, binder. Uh, so... Without further ado, that's a quick update on my current stuff. I did um, get some new Pokemon cards after visiting the arcade with some co-workers. And I got a cool like tag team one, but I forgot to bring that upstairs. So y'all don't get to see that, unfortunately. Um, I also have like a giant box that just has like a bunch of my duplicates. Um, I've mentioned before, I thought of like Maybe donating them, because, like, I don't need duplicates. Or maybe getting into trading, but I don't really have anyone to trade with. Small wink wink, nudge nudge. <laughs> uh, Akira, I just hope they fix the decks, because in my opinion, all Pokemon deserves love, because each one... Um, do have fans, I'm not forcing my ideas anymore, I already gave up. No, no, that is a good point, because it, it, it would suck. Like, just... From my point of view. I mean, I don't even know if they have Mudkip in Galar. But it would suck if, like... They had pretty much all these Pokémon, even some lame ones. Lame ones. There's no such thing as a lame Pokémon. Although, although, my opinions may differ. Um... But it would suck if they had, like, other lamer Pokemon, but not, like, Mudkip or, like, um, Vaporeon. I mean, granted, they'll have Vaporeon because everyone's a slut for Eevee. Uh, so for one, depending on what the dupes are, you can build a deck. You see, I've tried actually <laughs> playing TZG, like, like stuff. Like, I've tried magic. I've tried getting into the rules of Pokemon. But, like, I, I don't know. I I'm mostly just, like, collecting for the art. And I do, at some point, it's gonna take a while, hope to, like, collect all of them, as cliche as that sounds. Ah, uh, Quinn, I'll play the card game with you. I like Yu Gi Oh! as the card game better, though. I haven't tried playing Yu Gi Oh! But I have heard it's literally just, like, magic. <laughs> Anime magic. Uh, words. I was gonna say something. Something that had to do with the Pokemon card game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought of, um... I, I think there's an app where you can, um, online play like, digitally play the card game, but, like, I don't have the right, um, the right electronics for it. <laughs> Quinn, it's more complicated. Stupid magic. <laughs> so, with the cards that I have, let me put my binder down. This bag is literally full of Pokemon cards. I think, um, I think I'm gonna start with one of the big boys, and then I'm gonna go on to, like, the smaller ones, and then I'll end on a big boy, if that makes sense. <laughs> Server one, and that's why I'm claiming the codes. Okay, so one of the big boys that I got. Blah. This one. Look at that. Look at that shield boy. Yes. Hi! 
Corgi! Welcome! Just in time for the actual unboxing part of this. Forgive me if this is really loud noise as I try and struggle with this. I am really excited for these giant cards. I've always wanted one of these, like, big boy flat boxes. Like, there was one I saw at a GameStop where it was, um, Vaporeon themed. And I almost got that for myself. But at the time, I was like, no, no. You've just got yourself some Pokemon cards. Oh, these are separate. Interesting. I say as I accidentally flash a code. Um... Oh, Corgi, I got, um, 1.5 for Christmas Sorta. What do you mean by Sorta? <laughs> but that's cool that you got it for Christmas. Ah! Ooh, are these textured? Oh, I hope they're textured. Excuse me while I get the, the OG good boys. Oh my god, they are textured. That's so cool. That's so cool. Your score, buddy. And Sable. Come on, focus. Focus. Maybe I should just completely block my face. Maybe that's how I focus. And then here's Grookey. Um, <laughs> this is gonna suck trying to figure out where to put things because there's just bills everywhere on those. Yeah, I, I, I love the giant card. Yeah, it also comes with a little pin, which I'm totally gonna put on my uh, button bag. So cute. Ah! I say as I drop it <laughs> on accident. I'll put you by the sticky notes. Corgi, I got for Christmas, sorta, because it was my Christmas person, but it came to me after the new year. Oh, <laughs> rip. <laughs> I, again, don't have any idea where to put my trash. Apologi apologies in advance to my roommates. Oh, yes. I say yes, I just show the back of the card. <laughs> but look at this fucking shit. Look. I am so a oh, little... I'm so gonna get one of those like mini easel things and put this up in my room somewhere. Maybe right next where like all my Pokemon plushies are. Hopefully my cat won't knock it down. She probably will. Oh, that's kind of sad, man. Ooh, you have Kingdom Hearts 1 now. I... I yeah, I'm pretty sure I've said this on the channel. Um, but like, Kingdom Hearts 1 is um, the one I've played the most, and it's such a good game. Uh, Kira, every starter is so lovable, makes me wish I could steal all three. Same! Um, although having to pick one, I ended up going with Sobble. I love my Sobble. I named my Sobble Neptune. Just to like match with like the theme, since um, I named my Mudkip Percy after Percy Jackson, which in turn is named after um, Perseus. Okay, but the thing I was saying that was a little disappointing is that like the packs that actually come with this aren't actually Galar. We have like Cosmic Eclipse. XY Evolutions, more cosmic- oh, Unbroken Bonds. Uh, Corgi, yeah, I got Kingdom Hearts 1.5, so I have three games, basically. I like how they've been bundling them. So instead of having to buy three separate games, it's just like, hey, let's just- Let's just combine them. Save the fans some money. <laughs> Emphasis on some money. I 
watch me struggle for 15 minutes. Okay, 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 we got them open. Um, I'm opening the XY Evolutions one first. Huh. Oh, okay, we got a classic Ninduran. Classic boy. Oh, are these all classic cards? What? Focus. There we go. I think these are... I mean, I'm not... I, I love me some of the classic ones. One of my favorite is like an old as fuck Oddish one I have. Yeah, here's, here's a Magnemite. I like how they add texture to the Magnemite. Ooh, shiny seal. Seal, seal. Oh, you also have 2.5. Nice. <gasps> Guys, I might need to make room in my mini binder. Oh no. Oh boy. Hell fucking yes. <laughs> I literally just died for like five seconds. Oh, you gotta disappear for a bit. Yeah, you, you go to work. You enjoy your work. Excuse me, as I, I I die for five seconds. Okay, so we got energy retrieval. I am not usually a big fan of these like trainer cards, but then again, I don't actually play the TCG, so they're not really that important to me. Unless I see like an actual trainer from the game, then I'm like, oh hey, it's that person. <laughs> Becky, I don't know enough about Pokemon to appreciate this, but I'm here anyway. Well, I appreciate you, Becky. Mega Vigiot. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, so when my dad threw Albert Einstein dabbing once. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's a good meme for like one of those shirts you see at like Spencer's. We also have Ninder, you know, to fit with the um, first boy we got. And an energy card. Nice. I'm totally putting that uh, mega, <laughs> mega card aside. Like, holy shit. Who knew, like, the first one we'd pull would be this fucking badass. Fucking focus. 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 Maybe I'm being too shaky. I don't know. Yeah? There we go. Hell fucking yes. Okay, um... Where do I put the other one? I'm just gonna put them back here. Just gonna make a pile, hopefully they won't fall over. Good evening! Welcome, galaxy! Hello! Uh, Cor I forgot what your original name was. I know it wasn't um, Koro Monic 45. Oh, wow. I'm Akira. I only gotta get Mewtwo and Kangaskhan and Pokemon Go. Just two ways to get all 151 in on the Kando side of the decks. Me! It's been forever since I've, like, actually done Pokemon. Pokemon Go, I mean. Oh, also I'm opening Cosmic Eclipse, if that matters. Tails! Ah, yes, Tails! Okay. But no, um, last time I actively was out playing Pokemon Go, um, it was back when they had the, um, Salamance Community Day. Like, even though it was cold as fuck outside, I still went out and got a good shiny boy. Uh, Becky, by the way, Spacey, the current Welcome to Night Vale tour is the last one that Cecil will be doing because they're changing the formula of the live shows. I I heard that they were making a huge ass announcement.
So yeah, I'm curious to see like how things are gonna go like in the future of Welcome to Night Night Vale. Like yeah, I'm happy I got a Mew though. <laughs> Galaxy hash first card is a Mega Full Art EX. <laughs> All right, so of this new deck we have um, pa Pass Passimian Passimian. Look at him playing some good good volleyball with the boys. <laughs> That's High Q Season Four right there. Ah, uh... <laughs> Becky, imagine Kevin just takes over the live shows. Oh no. <laughs> we got J Jangmo Mo. <laughs> you guys are just like a oh, fake fan. But it's so adorable, just playing with a little tail. I love it. <gasps> yes. Oh hi. Welcome. <sighs> Excuse my trash. Hello, Void. There's a Christmas tree right here. Yeah. It makes it really hard to get in and out of this area. Hey, Void. How you guys doing? Look! 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 Oh. Look! 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 Oh boy, that's something. I know. That was like in the first first deck that I pulled. You're not gonna beat that. No, I'm not. You're not gonna beat that. No. Also, these. These, have you showed this to them yes. yet? These things make me laugh. These these guys? <laughs> this is his face. Look at that. Let me just shuffle this deck of cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I wonder what I'm going to pull next. Um, Void, I'm about to do the dishes, so I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. I'll be quiet with my dish, hopefully. But you may hear some dish in the background. Bye, Void. Bye. There's a cat here. Now there's a cat and a Christmas tree. I'm stuck. <laughs> You're just stuck. You can't I, I can't. Move. There's... It, just punt the cat. I'm not... Oh god. <laughs> That's Luna. I don't think that y'all have seen Luna. Mostly just Danny. Uh, Akira. It's all newbies. Um, are hard to remember at first in Pokemon, but once you get used to them. Becky says Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Becky! <laughs> Don't know if y'all heard that. Um, Akira, you want to crack open a cold one with the boys? Ah, I should have, I should have, I should have labeled that the stream. The most plain question. <laughs> Me and the boys opening cards. Um, who's your favorite Pokemon? Um... I have a, a straight tie between Mudkip and Whimsicott. Although for sure, if we're just talking starters, Mudkip's best starter. Okay. But what I was gasping at before... No, Luna's not my cat. Luna is my roommate's cat. Uh, Danny's my cat. Danny's the white cat that sometimes shows up on my lap and sometimes does evil things with water. You should tell them that way back in the void there's a video where you make your top 10 Pokemon. I do! Hey, I do have a top 10 Pokemon video on my channel. <laughs> I'll use this Pokemon favorite Pokemon information for evil. Oh, super one! My favorite is Zora! It's Zoro arc. Yeah, that's like the fluffy dark like little fox thing. Right? Um, Kuro says they love Snorlax. Galaxy, I don't understand your favorites because I'm French, but the names are different. Uh, Quinn, do you have any Whimsicott merch? Asking for no reason, no le reason whatsoever. Um, there is two plushies I've had my eyes on in forever. They're both literally the same plushie, just one is like a ditto version, and one's like an actual Whimsicott. And the only reason why I haven't gotten them is because... They're literally like $80, and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much. I don't want anyone to spend that much. <laughs> uh, Kira. I love Umbreon and Mimikyu. Hell, I got a lot of faves. Mimikyu's a good one. Galaxy, mine is Furligator or Alligator G guitar in French. Uh, you know, I like the French name better for that one. Honestly, you should really make a tier list for Pokemon. 
You know, I should. Like, um, I did do, like, you know how they have that website where it's like, oh, like, click on which one you like out of the two and we'll decisively decide your favorite. Uh, I did do that off recording. But I should make a tier list for Pokemon. Like, buy decks and stuff. Look at this Rowlet. Look at him. Soft clay boy. Um, Rowlet's also the starter I picked for um, Sun and Moon. Because I love grass. I love ghost types. Also, I love how he starts off with a bow tie and he just like turns into this like giant archer of a man. A galaxy. Frilligator is like the final evolution for, of the water starter of the second gen. Yeah! Ooh. That's awesome. So here's a squirrel leap. But look at that in the background. If it will focus. Maybe if I stop shaking my hands. There we go. Put that in the background. So neat. <laughs> Galaxy, he's a big boy. <laughs> I... I love how this card kind of gives me, like, weird little mermaid vibes. You know, like, like, Ariel, like, swimming and there's, like, a statue of, like, Prince Eric. Aww. Here's a Pikachu card I don't have. I like it. Like it a lot. Him charging up his attack. Ooh. Are all of these just gonna be really awesome cards? Ah, welcome, Blanco. And Galaxy, if everyone wants to know the French name of your favorite Pokemon, I'm here. I do have a little, like, small uh, Mudkip that has, like, his names, like, in the different languages in my room that, uh, my roommates got for me for my birthday. But I don't remember. But, but, here's another one that's gonna go in the mini binder. Hell yeah. So I love how Torkoal, like, the cloud is just a part <laughs> of the Pokemon, just constantly. I love how Gigantamax Norlax is just big. <laughs> big boy. Literally has cities on top of him. Ah, uh, Galaxy, just don't ask for Sword and Shield Pokemon except the starters. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Blanco, stayed up all night watching, watching She-Ra. How, how is She-Ra for you? Excuse me as I put this card to the side next to the special Pidgeot. He's thick. <laughs> He's viscous. Ah, cool. Helios. I have another card. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, friend. Ah, uh, we have a grass energy. We have a hero cross. Hero cross. One thing I love about Herocross is just the fact that, like, Pokemon originated, like, the idea originated from, um, like, collecting bugs, and a lot of times, um, like, in the culture, it's, like, usually specifically, like, some kind of beetles, and, and then Herocross is the thing. Lily's polka doll. I didn't know that was a card. It's really cute. Ooh, we got ourselves a dragon um Z. You know, it makes sense that those would be trainer cards, but like for some reason, I never put two and two together. Put that in the other pile. Um, Becky, a walk of Fina was in the new Jumanji. 
that name is so familiar. You're gonna have to refresh me. I know I say this about a lot of things. I have a poor-ass poor memory. Oh, uh, let's open up this um, Unbroken Bonds. Ooh, Umbreon is Noctali. I like it. It's like night and then tail together. Oh! Oh, and Crazy Rich a Asians. Okay. Okay, that's really cool. You know, I like the first remake of the Jumanji movies. Yeah, and she's so good. There we go, we opened it. Now, oh, Blanco says, so far almost done with season one of she -Ra. I enjoy she so much, especially Entrapta. Entrapta would have to be my favorite. Okay, we have a Wooper. There we go. I love the simple, the simplicity of this. And again, I'm a sucker for just like two dots and a basic ass like smile. Connie! The beginning form of Whimsicott. <laughs> Blanco and Trapped is Bay. Hi, Nico! Welcome to the Pokemon stream. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna probably have to separate the like, um, claymation style cards, because look at this Venonat. I have a soft spot for these. Look at that real ass looking grass. Oh, I forgot Evoli was the French name for Evie. Becky, Netflix did The Disastrous Life of Saki Kak. <laughs> words. Words are hard. Awakening. I don't know why I, wa why I want to say the word Kai. It's not Kai. It's the letter K. Um, I, I saw a preview of it like yesterday as one of my roommates was on Netflix. One of these days I'm gonna have to watch it. It looks so ridiculous. Ah, uh, I already have this one but I'm showing it to you guys. So adorable. Look at that meow. He's sleepy peepee. <laughs> I love how um the ability, Catterday, draw two cards. If you do, this Pokemon is now asleep. <laughs> Such a sleepy boy. We got a buff ass Geodude. The look at the anime eyes. Yeah, Evoli is the fun of the word evolution. Yeah! Ooh, shiny, shiny kite. I don't think I have an Ultra Beast card. Well, no. Is Pipoli like the purple new one in Sun and Moon? Ooh. Like, is that an Ultra Beast? Because I think I have a card of that one. Um. Galaxy says, also in French, we call Evoli <laughs> the Evoli Lucians. I like it. I like it. Koro says, if I, you would bring a Pokemon to real life, what would it be? Mine is Ditto. Ditto would be terrifying. But also pretty cool, but also terrifying. Um, a Pokemon in real life. Hmm. I'd... I, I, I don't know if this would be my for sure pick, but all I'm thinking of is like the scene in Detective Pikachu when you see like all those Bulbasaurs at, at once. Um, I think I'd have to go with Bulbasaur. Also, like Detective Pikachu has uh, refreshed the idea of like, man, I really want Pokemon to exist <laughs> just in life. That would be so awesome. Here's a Miss Magius. I love the soft pastel hues. Well, maybe not pastel. I meant like watercolor, like the softness of it. Got an energy card, a fairy charm. Got a polyrope whirl. 
Come on. Again, I love the sim simplicity. Also, I love how he's just like, yeah. <laughs> um, the evolution sprite. Ooh, that's dangerous. Evolve one of your evolved Pokemon by shuffling any number of evolution cards into your deck. Okay, that's it. So, pretty good cards. Pretty good cards. No, like, insane ones. But not bad. Uh, Galaxy. Oh, oh. These are all the evolutions. Um, Pyroly, Voltali, Aqualily. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these. Noctily, Mentally. I like the name Mentally. Lolly, give really nymph alley. I know it's nymph as in like wood nymph as in fairy, but my mind just went to like um like I don't I don't know why, but my mind went to like um what's the word? For some reason, I read that as like a totally different word, and I'm like, since when was there a ghost type EV? Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's um, fire, electric, water, dark, psychic, um, uh, and then grass, and then ice, and then Sylveon. I don't know why my mind was like, let's forget all the names for the evolutions at once, besides Sylveon. Oh, the song. I don't know if y'all can even hear it, but I'm playing lo-fi po Pokemon music. And... Mystery Dungeon Man. I miss M Mystery Dungeon. I cried at the end. Just the whole, like, oh, well, don't turn back to a human. Spoilers, I'm sorry. But you don't know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I got it correct. Fun fact, all those are not French, but actually Greek. Ah! Ah, blog that says, Bo reminds me of Hog. A bit. I bet. A bit. I bet it's the technology bit. I love how Bo's whole, whole thing is that, like, he's always in a crop top. Uh, Kara says, Ditto in real life, if it becomes any Pokemon, we'll also find out that Pokemon CNA it has become. Yeah, I think Ditto is like a good choice if we were to bring any Pokemon to real life. Doesn't that also low-key imply that like Mewtwo exists? Or like, both Mew and Mewtwo exist? Okay, we got a nose pass. Not that big a fan of Nose Pass, but you know, can't all be winners. Let's focus. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, let Leo. Also, to be honest, um, not that big fan of Let Leo or just the evolution in general. Um. Uh, it gives me, like, off-brand Lion King vibes. Like, this is Lion King if it was produced by a different company and they had, like, an eighth of the budget that, like, Disney has. Aww! La baby. That poor baby. Oh, All trapped out in the rain. Seal having the best time of his life. <laughs> I don't know why I think this one's so funny. Just how serious Natu looks. What is he even standing on? I hope there's a continuation of this. Because I also love it when cards, like, continue off of one another. So I hope we see later on, like, what he's standing on. Ooh, shiny lantern. Is 
Excuse me as I die again. Uh, Galaxy, Pikachu is a combination of the word Pika, Sparkle, and Chew. Squeak. Me. Um, I love how, um, is that just, like, the word Pikachu, like, across the globe? Because I feel like in other languages, even though it's the same word, it has different derivatives that still, like, are some kind of electric mouse type thing. But hey guys, look at this one. Oh my god. You know, I, I missed my chance with Oricorio. Like, I was so dumb. Um, Cause like with mine, when it evolved, I accidentally got rid of the one move that made it like, be able to change between the different forms. I'm putting you aside. We got an energy card. Uh, Galaxy. Yep, it's Pikachu in all country except China in the first game. Why China? <laughs> of all things. Um, here's Tackle. Ooh, search for your deck for up to two tag team cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. That's- ooh. Now this is a good Dardorix. Uh, I, I- I call this the Professor Edgeworth of the Pokémon because of his swoopy hair. His fancy, like, hair swoop. Um, I have another Dardorix card, but it's not my fave. Because it's just, like, him attacking. It's not really anything special. <gasps> Lily! Lily is so cute. Also, her brother is, like, my favorite character in Sun and Moon. And that's all we have for this one. All right. So that was fun. I was not expecting so far. Just like all of these. So I'm excited. It probably got my hopes up for, for like the other decks. But, um, let's see. I think I have 10 regular fo foil cards and then, um, one, like, giant pack and then I have one other of the Flat Boys. Uh, Galaxy, I think it's because China got the anime before the game so they used the name they were using in the anime for the game. Pursue China. <laughs> Getting things before us. I still have to watch the new series. Like, it's hard to look it up though. Because, like, it's just called Pokemon. And. I, like, it's not Pokemon Sword and Shield the anime. And if you look up straight ass Pokemon, it just gives you the OG series. One of these days, the dub's gonna come out, and even though it's gonna be so behind compared to the sub, like, I'm, I'm still gonna watch it to death. Blanco, gliding is the best thing out of Gen 7, aside from Team Skull and Guzma. Um, I know, like, the whole fan base is, like, obsessed with Guzma, or Guzma, however you say his name. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I, I get, like, oh, he's had a rough childhood, and, like, ooh, he's a grungy boy. But I still don't get it. Uh, Galaxy, just gotta say, go, go is best boy. Go is best boy. <laughs> From what I've seen of Go, I can't wait to see how he and Ash team up. Like, also, I love Go's design. So good. I also love how canonically Go is non binary. Are they actually gonna, like, delve deep into that? Probably not, because it's a children's cartoon and they tend to not do that. The only time I've ever seen that happen 
Um, what would probably be like Steven Universe. Oh, by the way, I'm opening an XY Evolutions card. So, um, my stepmom works at Dollar General. I <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. But apparently, these are like specifically like Dollar General exclusive Pokemon cards. <gasps> ah, that's good. But yeah, I don't know exactly how good these are gonna be. Uh, Becky, I'm just shook. Ash and Manuela share the same VA. <laughs> just the two polar opposites of characters. I love it so much. Uh, Galaxy says go is basically what happens if you fuse N and Serena reincarnated as an ambitious <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> yeah, so the first card I see is just Ash's Pikachu just chilling out in the middle of nowhere. I still have to see I Choose You. I think it's on... I think it's on um, Netflix. Or, or if it's not already on Netflix, then they're putting it on Netflix. There's a different one that I do have on my list. Um, I forget what it's called though. It's the one where it's like um, some random everyday people in their Pokemon. Man, why are these harder than the actual foil cards? Eh. There we go. Galaxy. <laughs> go. My first Pokemon's gonna be Mew. Blanco, go and Ash, you're basically gone and- Oh my god. You just saying that, Blanco. Like, has opened my eyes to, like, why I am in love with our dynamic so far. It is basically just the two characters from Hunter x Hunter. Okay, so these packs don't have as many cards as, like, the typical foil packs have. But here's an OG Caterpie. I have so many of these. OG Poliwag. And Charizard Spirit Link, for whatever reason. Now I just gotta go get me, and, and that's it. But it's okay, because there's another one. Ah, you've returned. Uh, Galaxy. Oh god, I've been infected with the DR syndrome, calling Danganronpa and Pokemon. You know, with how obsessed I am with Danganronpa, Watch, I'm I'm still gonna name my platinum Pokemon after um the Danganropa characters. Can you give me that red mouse? What do you need? The red mouse underneath your wall. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Is this Ghastly's first card? You can like barely see him. He's like, just a black mist with eyes. I mean, that is what Ghastly is before they made him more purple. That's interesting. Uh, Blanco, kinda curious how they're gonna handle Gen 8 gym leaders in the anime. Me too, because it isn't just the Gala region. Hey, Sword and Shield. <laughs> Again, I hope you guys can hear the music. Um. I have it, like, right in front of me as, like, each song comes up. Oh, wow. We've been almost an hour in. Or, we are an hour in. But yeah, because it's not just the Gen 8 region in this new anime. It's, like, all the regions. So I hope they don't just kind of brush them aside. Like, oh yeah, here's these new people. They exist. And then, like, fuck it. Let's go back to, like, Johto or whatever. OG Shant, Sand True. And a Super Potion. Neat! So again, not many cards in these, so I think I might just kind of like fly through them. 
Here's some Guardians Rising. I hope... I hope there's like a different Ashes Pikachu in each of these. Like, like with the like different hats. No, but there is a different card that's face down. What are you? Eevee. Cute. Galaxy, also Ash's French name is Sasha. Hmm. I wonder if that's related to the color red. Or just like fire in general. Kind of like how like the first character in Pokemon is red and then like the main person in the anime is Ash. Ash relating to fire. Fire is red. Oh yeah, yeah, it's also close to Satoshi. Sometimes I forget his name is Satoshi. Okay, okay, these cards. Here we go. Carvana! Ooh. Fuck it up, Garbodor. Fun fact, um, my Garbodor that I caught in Sun and Moon, I named it Tumblr. <laughs> I got Tumblr's trash, we got some Ether, Ether Paradise. That's that for that. You know, I think it would be cool if, like, they had two separate subs for the new Pokemon anime, or just the Pokemon anime in general. Like, I, I'm not that um, familiar with, like, the sub of Pokemon. But I think it'd be cool if there was, like, two different ones. Like, one that keeps their English names, and then one that has their, like, traditional, like, actual Japanese names. Okay. Rock Ruff. I love the Dusk version of Rock Ruff. And by that I mean it's evolution. Like the Dorito Cheeto Dust looking looking boy. A chop. Flexing on all the haters. Quinn, have you read the Pokemon special manga? It's so much better than the than the anime. Didn't at one point <laughs> Didn't they try crucifying gym leaders? <laughs> Isn't that anime that we're talking- not anime, manga that we're talking about? I thought of reading it. We have an energy card. Don't know why I showed it to y'all. Yeah, we're legit just like flying through. Hold on, let me start over the playlist. Suddenly there's no music, no! Oh, Galaxy. Nah, his name is Sasha, just because it sounds like Satoshi. Uh, Quinn, I know half the leaders are, like, evil, but I DK about that. I could be talking about something else completely different. Lycan Rock, thank you! There are, like, literally 900 Pokémon, maybe even more than that. Forgive me if I forget some names. Here's Topig. Topig exists. I have no opinions on Topig. Isn't Topig, like, a starter? I've never played... Um, what's the name? Black and White. So I could be massively wrong. These are XY Evolutions. Uh, Quinn says, for real though, that manga is so good. I've heard, I've heard that the manga is good, and like more serious and like more like fucked up shit happens <laughs> compared to the anime. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, he is the black and white fire starter. I seriously have to get into black and white. I say as I'm in the middle of like so many other Pokemon games, but. I heard that has the best story. OG Electrobuzz. This is one I have so many of. OG Drowsy.
We have trainer switch card. Look at that graphics. Also, um, that means I'd have to get into black and white too. Ah, uh, thank you, Blanco. Yep, to pick is the fire starter. Is that the same one that has like the green snake? Has to be. This is the only other grass starter I haven't run into. <laughs> Wait, best story if you like PETA and daddy issues. <laughs> PETA and daddy issues in my Pokemon. It's more likely than you think. Another OG Voltor. I do love the colors. Like, how do I hand? There we go. Like surrounding the Voltorb in his basic card. And we have a shiny version of it. Oh my god. Forgive me if there's like a better technical term for like these kind of deck card things, whatever. Because, like, I hate calling them shinies when there's, like, actual shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Blanco, best way to describe Team Plasma. Galaxy, remember when PETA made up a game where you have to beat up a Pokemon trainer? <laughs> of course, of course, of course PETA would. And we have Professor Oak. Ooh, that's actually good. Draw the cards until you have seven in your hand. Although that would that would suck. Excuse me, hiccups. Um. Oh, Queen, reverse foil. Huh. Good to know. Uh, Blanco says, Gen 5 has the best lineup of gym leaders. Uh, Quinn, when the art is shiny, it's a foil. When the border, it's a reverse foil. Good to know. I've been dying to know that question. Ooh, sun and moon cards. Or hopefully they're sun and moon cards. Oh, Blanco, Skyla is best girl. I've, I've seen, I've seen our Skyla. She's she her her design's pretty neat. <laughs> Galaxy Pokemon Black and Blue got to free them all. <laughs> now, Peta, I've seen some of the games they've made on their official site. They're interesting. Like the one where it's like Thanksgiving, and it like goes through like a disgusting process to like kill the turkey. And I'm totally bending up these cards as I'm trying to free them from this bag. Becky, beat a boss, now off to walk the dog. You enjoy the outside. Like, it took, like, other than maybe one week. Um, it literally was green all Christmas. And then, like, once New Year's hit. <laughs> Ooh, and a skateboard. Let's just ride on our polka skateboards, y'all. But no, of course, now that it's the new year, there's snow out, and I'm sad. Uh, Quinn says, not a huge fan of the Gen 5 gym leaders. There's a really good Nuzlocke comic that is a dark plot. That's a black Nuzlocke. Ooh. Neat. Oh, I'm spoiling myself as I'm opening this. That's such a cute fledgling. How could you say no to that fledgling? Fledgling would have to be my favorite of the like starting area regional birds. Um, I forgot what the name of the new one is. Um, it's like chickadee. It's some kind of chickadee thing. Um, I want to say it's like Rookity. Like the blue and black little bird. I enjoy that. I am a little upset that it just evolves into um, Corviknight. Here's a swallow. 
Also, uh, most of the reason why I love Fleshling is just because it's also bird and fire. And not a lot of the bird types um, are as useful. Rookity, thank you! Ooh, please link it to me later. Uh, Galaxy, with Pikachu in a bootleg of the black and white starters. Beat up and covered in blood, covered in bandages. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, you're talking about Pita. <laughs> oh, man. That reminds me of this um, comic. It was like on YouTube, where it's like, oh, what happens in Pokemon Go when you like transfer Pokemon and they get turned into Kandu? And it was like really fucked up. <laughs> Galaxy just. Think of all the poor little kids you're traumatizing when their parents put them on this website for education. Man, PETA is just such trash. Like, all they do is they just use scare tactics to, like, scare people into, like, their stupid nonsense. Danny wants to jump up here, but, like, it's covered in Pokemon. No, no, I'm not saying I don't, like, how it's a steel bird, I'm just saying, because, like, we already were introduced to Corviknight from the beginning. Aw. Uh, and also, I just really love the blue on black color scheme, so I was, like, a little sad that it just went to, like, all black. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Akira. Talonflame is my fave. Talonflame can kick some ass. Gwen, well damn, I own PETA, so I guess I'll leave. <laughs> Rip. Sorry, Gwen. Here's an awesome, um... Gillis Corp? Yeah? Fun fact, until now, I didn't know Gilligar evolved. <laughs> Maybe it's a black and white thing. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'm just not that good of a Pokemon fan, as I have misled you all to believe I am. Eh. Gilai score. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, what's in here? Got this chill... Chill Slowpoke. Uh, same Machop. Uh, oh, Danny figured out a way to join. Oh no. Oh, Gilliscore appeared in Gen 4. I'm currently playing Gen 4. <laughs> Spoilers for Gen 4. Oh no. It's fine. I probably won't even catch it. Which is gonna make me sad. Oh, Weepin' Bell. Now in five seconds, she's either gonna fall asleep and everything's gonna be nice and good. Or... Everything's gonna catch on fire, and then I'm gonna have to punt her off. And hopefully not into the trash pile that is the Pokemon cards. Oh, more Guardians Rising. Probably should say which ones I'm opening before I get too excited, and I'm just like, ugh. Oh, Blanco. Gil um, Giligar. Evolves holding a razor fang and uses a rare and use a rare candy. That's difficult. So you're saying that if I find one, it's probably not gonna evolve. Not ever. We have <gasps> I love it. I love it. Ralts. So adorable. You gather them flowers. I really like the flaw of like setting them down. Like, <laughs> just in one giant pile. I'm gonna have such a fun time like divvying up the cards to like cards I'm gonna put in my regular binder, cards that are duplicates, cards that are like OG faves. By OG faves, I mean like the faves that are going in like a mini binder. I honestly love sorting my Pokemon cards. I'm a slut for organization. 
Like, I'll literally, like, set them all individually, like, surrounding me on the floor of my room. Because everything has to be perfect. <gasps> Another for the claymations. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna call it now. I'm just gonna have to do a whole separate, like, claymation mini binder. Because, trubbish. Surrounded by trash. Just like where we found Danny. Actually, um, she wasn't surrounded by trash. But she did- she had snoop through trash. Now, uh, Galaxy, we actually got two pro-animal protection parties in France. Once PETA, with their horrible ideas, like closing half of the agriculture, meat productions, and clothing. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, Quinn, well, I can't wait for you to see the clothing pile that is my room, then. <laughs> Okay. We have the same Machop card. card. So much of that Machop. And Hakamo! Oh. Free as a bird. Oh, Galaxy Sounds. And the other being Wild Protection Parties having some ecological idea that could help without forcing everyone to become vegan. Or... yeah. Now... I support veganism, just not when you're an asshole about it. Like, my aunts, um, are vegans, hence why I was vegan for a bit. Um, yeah, they're, they're, luckily they're not the asshole types. Here's another one. Why do I have a feeling Blanco's gonna love this one? I love how when she evolves, she just gets more bows. Just a bow for each evolution. Actually, no. Uh, Quinn, I support veganism, I just can't afford to practice it. <laughs> Blanco, my baby. I- I don't know, there are some ways- Oh, oh, you're moving. Oh, no, now you're on my headphones, oh no. I can't, I can't, we, we can't do this, Danny. <laughs> um, eh. Blanca, I'll name her Celeste. I should name mine Celeste when I get one. Or like next time I get one, I mean. Um, there are some ways where veganism can be cheap, but most of them are. And it's really sad. Use a cute ass panchim. Ooh. This looks terrifying in like the stuff in nightmares. What the fuck? What the fuck kind of nightmare drugs were you taking, Pokemon? God. It's terrifying. Blanca, <laughs> one of the many reasons I like Gen 5. Alright, how many do we have left? We still have so many of these mini foils. Another XY Evolutions. Hey Kira, vegans and carnivores help each other out when it comes to balancing out though. Yeah. <gasps> yeah! Oh wait, is this the same one? Oh my god, now I'm gonna have to go, like, go digging through. I don't think it's the same one. I got another Ashes Pikachu! Pretty sure it's a different hat. Okay, it's gonna bother me if I don't sift through all these cards. Um... Uh, let's see... Pikachu? Oh, it is a different hat, because this is the first one. Nice. Uh, Quinn, I try to eat somewhat vegan or vegetarian when I go out, but at home, I sure don't. <laughs> I have cheated and then regretted it. I say that because, um, I used to be really sick. Um, I feel like I've talked about this before. And then I moved in with my aunts and I got, like, so much better, like, eating more healthy and, like, 
having like my diet change to like completely vegan with exception of like one or two cheat days and then ever since then like for some reason like every time I eat something that that's like oh hold on I'll finish my story um, ever since I've eaten something that has like beef or pork chickens chickens okay and seafood's okay but like any other type of meat I just get horribly sick it's like my stomach doesn't know how to process it anymore and it's kind of sad Now Blanco included gothic theme, theme Pokemon now. We need a gothic theme gym later. Um. Oh, that was the Sinnoh hat. Cool. Yeah, I thought I recognized it. Galaxy, I want a soft punk goth shy gym leader, please. I mean... There's kind of Alistair. I'd say he's like a soft goth. Um, Galaxy soft fuck goth are my religion. So good. Um, I hear nobody tries to grind in Pokemon anymore. I enjoy grinding. Then again, I enjoy long, tedious tasks. <laughs> That take hours. Um, Lako Marty's punk. Hey, yeah, I, I agree. Um, Quinn says soft punk. Um, oh, no, no, I misread what you were saying. Sorry. I'm talking about Alistair. Soft, go soft goth in the vein that he's like eight. <laughs> True, true. So we have a Meshacarp that looks like it's drowning. So that's fun. I mean, it's not drowning. It's just, like, about to be caught by a trainer. But, like, just the gasping mouth and the, like, air coming up. We have an energy card. OG Porygon. <laughs> Look at that, like... Clip art, <laughs> MS Paint, it's one of the things I enjoy about the, like, OG cards. Just, like, looking at the backgrounds and seeing, like, how far we've come with, like, technology and stuff. <laughs> uh, Blanco, not a fan of Team Yell, by the way. No, like... I'm honestly kind of getting tired of the trend of like, oh, here's this evil team that actually isn't evil and just kind of is there just to have a, a, a team. Um, and then it's like, oh, the corporations are actually evil. Like, no, just make the evil team and the corporations the same. <laughs> Magic card, gay gasp. Uh, Gwen, you love long, tedious tasks that take hours. Play to Saiga. <laughs> okay, so we got same Electric Buzz, same Magikarp, and Revive. I like how the Revive candies are just like little star things. Alright. So much to go. Here's another Guardians Rising. A mini booster pack. I realize it says right on the thing that it just has two mini booster packs and a bonus card. So maybe if I actually read, I would know that these aren't full. Full ones. Eh. We have... Aww. Sana Rupert. Wooper is chilling and having the best time in its own little, like, anime, um, fluffy, like, one-shot episode. It 
Akira, whose terrible idea is it to make Team Yell and no sound types? I know! Oh, you have to go for the rest of the stream? Aw. Well, I'm glad you, you showed up, Quinn. Like, <laughs> I just can't believe they made a Pokemon game where, like, they have cheering, like, in the background. It's, like, faint cheering. But, like, they have cutscenes with matte flaps, but no actual voice acting. That's the one disappointment I have with um, the new, the newer Pokemon. Okay, same Panchamp. Ah! I don't know why it's sideways. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if it's um, by the same artist that did um, the Rotem card that I have. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Also, is it the same artist as the Gengar? No, it's not. Here's the oldest fuck Oddish card that I mentioned that I have. Like, you can you can see all the like blackened parts on the edges because I've had it for so long. Okay, so um the card I'm thinking of isn't on that half. It's on the half that's actually still attached here. Where is it? This is gonna drive me insane, hence why I'm taking the time to find it. Is it the same? It is the same artist. Okay, so I have a Rotem card. Yeah. Like, it's Rotem. And, like, at a glance, it looks like it's just, like, the same... Um, kind of, like, color scheme as, like, a motherboard. So it's like, oh, cool, motherboard. But when you look closely... No, no, he's, like... How do I do this? He's, like, infecting their computers, and there's, like, people screaming, and it's terrifying, and it's great. And I love the way the art, like, like they do their art. And this is a snow run. Just chillin'. <laughs> Literally chillin'. Messing up someone's fridge. Uh, Galaxy, once someone asked me to describe my perfect man, okay, so you take Legoshi from Beastars and make him a chubby soft punk. <laughs> that it, Legoshi's already perfect personality. I haven't seen Beastars, but um, I've heard like posts being like, hey, watch Beastars. Um, lock up, Sword and Shield gets the black and white 2 treatment, give us proper evil team that is legit evil. Yes, please. And we have a fairy energy card, and that's all we got there. Um, so when I reorganize my stuff, I'm definitely putting those two cards side by side. <laughs> Watch, I end up getting like a whole mini binder just for that one artist. All right. We have same fledgling. Ooh. I know those are birds, but Dracula vibes, or like Castlevania vibes. I dig it. And same Hakamo. Okay, Hakamo. -o. Blanco, by this team y'all is basically cheap knockoff of Team Skull. Yeah, it's just Team Skull. But, like, diluted down a few notches. Like, I like the idea of them being, like, obnoxious fans. But, like, add a little twist to it. Let's have that not be the only thing that they have. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is hella good. Oh hell yeah. And it's a foil. Look at me using technical terms in the correct way. And as I move it, it's being all blurry, but it's fine. Oh, this is breakpoint, okay. I do have a few breakpoint 
cards. <laughs> We're gonna sit down and have a Pokemon name pronunciation party. I mean, you've seen some of my streams by now. I'm horribly bad at things and pronouncing them right. <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. Uh, Kira, I, I happy we finally have a dark time gym though. Same. It was a long time coming and a ghost type gym. I mean, we've had ghost type gyms, but I mean, like, a ghost boy as a gym leader. Forgive me if I'm a bit biased. Also, fun fact growing up, I called Rattata Ratatata. <laughs> it, it, it made my friends so upset. Oh, sad rubbish. How dare they pick up their trash? How dare they? Ooh. That's a sh that that is a reverse foil sycamore. It, it it basically does the same as like Professor Oak's hand I just saw. <laughs> Quinn, I am too, but Pokemon names are important. And we have a puzzle of time, whatever that is. I mean, it says what it is. <laughs> that rubbish in the junkyard. Blackway and a better milk than Jenny. Mm, I do like Melanie. Was that even her name? <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure it's Melanie. Uh, Galaxy, what was your first fictional crush? Um, let me think. I mean, honestly, like, not even talking Pokemon, it'd have to be a Dandy Phantom. Like, it went from. Like, having a crush on Danny Phantom to, like, wanting to be Danny Phantom. I think I already have this one, but I like- I also like Pokemon cards that, like, have other Pokemon in it. Although, fuck those dogs, they look really lame. <laughs> no offense. All Pokemon are good Pokemon. Speaking of cards that involve other Pokemon... Ooh. <laughs> Quinn, yes. Ice Milf Mel Melanie. <laughs> My boy learning using terms right. <laughs> but no, no, check out this fucking Clefairy card. Hell fucking yes. If it will do its thing. There we go. Look at that fucking scary ass hypno. That's probably not a hypno. Okay, it's not even gonna focus anymore. Yeah, it's not even gonna focus anymore. But like fucking hypno hypnotizing Clefairy. Hi, obvious! <laughs> uh, for hypno. Uh Gwen, Clefable's one of my favorite Pokemon and has been since Gen 1. Ah! Clefable's a good choice. <laughs> fucking per ugly. Look at that smug ass mug. You know, that cat belongs to, like, some, um, 80-year-old, like, woman who goes to, like, bingo on Saturdays and, like, also has seven other of the same Perugly just scattered. Galaxy, people tend to judge me when I say mine. There's no judging here. No, this is a safe space. For, like, anything, not just talking about Pokemon faves. This is a neat dupider that I also already have. And this is more breakpoint. No, I like I I like hearing people's favorite Pokemon, because there are some fav like like every Pokemon has a fave. And I, I especially love hearing when it's like the more obscure ones. 
Like, I uh, have a friend whose favorite Pokemon is unknown. And it's like, huh, never would have imagined. One, that he would pick unknown, and two, unknown is a cool ass, like, idea for a Pokemon. Okay, I know you're saying that it's supposed to be Perubly, but come on, come on, come on, it, it, it's ugly. Not the Pokemon, I'm saying like the actual word is ugly. Oh no, Perugly the Nuzlocke killer, oh no. <laughs> My poor future self. Alpheus, okay, but Skunk Take or Perugly, who's better? Mm hmm. I'm a bit biased because the fucking skunk skunk tank in Mr. Dungeon. Like, no. No, thank you. Uh, Galaxy. Okay, it starts with a B. It's a sixth letter, and he's from a famous video game song saga. Hmm. Alright, I, I think you're just gonna have to outright say it, Galaxy. Because for some reason, like, Favorite video- not favorite? No, famous video game so saga throws me off, and it just makes me think of Sonic. <laughs> and Sonic doesn't start with the B. Okay, so we got the same Slowpoke, we got a cute-ass Scorpy. I adore Scorpy. Scorupy? Whatever it's called. Blanco seen a lot of fan art of Melanie, oh, I saw one that you- either reblogged or just liked and Twitter is weird with likes and it's just like, hey, <laughs> let's show all the likes, even if some of them you might not want to see. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of fan art of Melanie. Here's a cool de blade. Fun fact, um, even though she's not technically a sword, I um, always name my Hone Edge um, Loop. After the um, the twin sister in um, the Adventure Zone, I mean, granted, me saying this kind of reveals spoilers, um, but the fact that um, the fact that it's like a sentient sword, and then there's like a, a Umbra staff that's like that. Alpheus, Sonya is the best Pokemon Switch girl. It's facts. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think, um, I, I don't really like, um, Marnie that much. To be honest. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know she's everyone's bae. Um. Oh! Oh! Bowser! Why, why did I not think of Bowser? I mean, I don't think it's bad. It's unexpected, but I don't think it's bad. I can see the likability of Bowser. Akira, I'm happy Unknown have fans. I wish all the Unknown can be combined into one, just like Wishawashi, because Unknown can do that in the anime. Especially with a lot of hidden powers simultaneously. Yeah, like... Again, that's just like the magic of Pokemon. Just like, no matter what Pokemon exists, there's always going to be like a fave for one of them out there somewhere. Because everyone's different and has different tastes. Galaxy, but like Bowser was my biggest crush since I was six. This man make me really early gay. <laughs> Akira, I would date Bowser. <laughs> How do y'all feel about Bowsette though? Bowsette though. So we got Rattata. That's a cool epic looking Rattata card. Are those like mind controlled Rattatas? I don't even know. <sighs> oh my. 
I never thought I would get one of these in one of these mini foil decks, but hello. Hello, Nightmare Satan. Hell fucking yeah. Just gonna put that one aside. And also the same thing. The same, um, do blade, I should say. Queen, I wanna po cosplay Bowsette TBH. I love it when the internet, like, exploded with Bowsette, honestly. It was such a good time where, like, everyone came together and was like, yes, both Bowser and Peach are hot. Let's make them both- let let's combine them together. Uh, Galaxy, he's a determined and powerful ruler, and at the same time, he's a really shy, biggie, anxious- anxious dad. Eh. I don't know why, but this is, like... Harder to open? Oof. There we go, we got it. Okay, so I love- I'm, I'm just saying, I love how the bonus card is just, like, an energy. Galaxy, and he's a freaking chubby reptile with red hairs. I love how they took, like, pretty much the original, like, platforming bad guy. By the way, these are XY evolutions. Um, and they just made him this lovable father, just like on the side. Oh man. Okay, what do we got this time? What do we got this time? Okay, we got OT full picks. We got another energy card. Brock's great. Again, I don't know if anyone really cares about like, um, showing trainer cards, but some of them are pretty, pretty nice. Pretty cool. Uh, Blanco, Bowser deserves Father of the Year. <laughs> Healthiest rock, rock is hard. <laughs> is he hard or is he hard? <laughs> Galaxy says, well, what really made me love Bowser is the paper in a Mario saga. Yeah, I, I, I love... I'm um, granted, I've only seen a little bit of Bowser in your door and like bits and pieces of maybe the other games from watching the Game Grumps play. But I love the kind of spin they have on the characters. Here's an OG Onyx. And how, like, they used it to, like, further develop them. Oh, this is a different Electrode. Don't think I've seen this one. Oh, and I like this coughing, too. It's cool. Watch, I actually have it and I just, like, forgot that I had it. Um, okay, that was the second one. Okay. Akira, sweet older men always give my heart, all I gotta say. Oh, you gotta leave for real? Okay. See ya, Quinn. Uh, Blanco, better than most villains' fathers, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're on the last of the mini foils. Or mini packs. Mini booster packs. The Pokemon cards look great! Thank you! I uh, love the haul we got. Like, I seriously was not expecting getting that many, like, EX cards. That many full-on foils. Neat little Porygon floating down a river. Yeah, I seriously- these are breakpoint. These are breakpoint. But I- I seriously have to reorganize, like, literally everything. And I can't wait to do that. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. Maybe Saturday, or maybe, like, after work tomorrow. Man, I'm not looking forward to work tomorrow. 
Like, I, I took, like, a week, maybe even a bit more than a week, and ended up being off to, like, go visit my family, because I didn't get much of a chance to do that last year. Ah, This is, like, the continuation of the other pajam. Pancham, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, can I even find it? I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find it. This is such a thick- oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Like, oh my god. Okay, so this one... If it will focus... And then this one! Like, it jumped up and then fell right into the leaves. Love it. Bam. I'm not looking forward to going back to work. Like, being off work for so long just reminds me how much I would much rather be streaming full time. This is a cool reverse foil ducklet. Now, that art of ducklet makes me rethink my statement of how dumb they look. Oof. But also, they're still kind of dumb. <laughs> um... Girl, what's your waifu of the decade? Waifu of the decade. Hmm. As of... Just waifus I was just introduced to. Probably Chihiro from Danganronpa. Hmm. Also, Haru from... Persona 5. Galaxy says Bravos are brain and antagonists. They have to give them more lore than most of the other characters, which makes them stand up more as more human for me. Yeah, he's more than just an angry dinosaur looking thing. He has a soul, he has feelings. Akira, Porygon shouldn't be normal type or be cut off in the anime over that incident. Um, yeah. Porygon's weird. Blanco says Tharja. Tharja. Yes. <laughs> Tharja's also up there. I still can't believe, like, looking at all, like, this love for Tharja and being like, so what? She's just big titties and, and goth. But now after playing Awakening, I'm like, Tharja, though. Tharja. Um, Marianne from Three Houses, S. Death from A Common Note Got Kill, Suyu, Suyu from My Hero, and Sally from Black Clover. Becky, your girl turns 24 this month, you're gonna take friends to an escape room. Ah, oh, I hope you have lots of fun. Girl says mine's Angie and Ibuki. Uh, Galaxy, I think it also helps that back in primary school, uh, as was a part of a Mario fan club that some kids have created. Cool. <laughs> Honorable mention to Kami. Yes, yes. Uh, Becky, my waifu of the decade is Jade from Dragon Quest. Cool. Uh, Kira, Gundam is still has no material for me. <laughs> Here is... Aroma Tess, I'm assuming is how you say that. That is fucking gorgeous. Look at how floppy. Um, Galaxy says every day we would join together and talk about Mario and our creations about it. Which is also ma what made me start writing. Nice. Now I'm not that big of a Mario fan. But Peach can get it. I know everyone is in love with Peach, but with good reason. She's not an ultimate waifu, though. Not for me, that is. Oh no. I was gonna do, like, a cool thing, but then I got stuck. 
Why aren't these easier to open? Oh, that's cute. Oh, Blanco, accept me. I don't like Peach. <laughs> Is it because she's so popular? I'm not making a joke. I'm generally curious. Because there are some people... There are some people where, like... Just how big the fan base is of it kind of turns them off from it. I'm like that with um, some other things. Um, I'm trying to think of examples in my shoes, but like I can't. Uh, Koro, me too. She's overrated. Uh, Kira says, sorry, I mean, Porygon should be electric and deserves better. That makes so much sense. Uh, Becky, might not know much about Pokemon, but I sure as hell love to draw them. I thought of bringing back, like, my Pokemon drawings, because I did that for one of the Pokemon fan games, whoa, <laughs> I was doing on the channel. Um, I thought of doing that when I was playing Sword and Shield, but I completely forgot and just got too sucked into the game. Um... Galaxy, the biggest waifu of Mario is Rosalina. Everyone in my club were worshipping this girl. Yeah, I, I know the internet blew up when Mario Galaxy came out with Rosalina. I don't really get it, but also I never played Mario Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy, I love Rosalina, but even for me it was a bit too extreme. <laughs> Becky, incidentally, I love how you changed my role in Discord to chat mom. Well, the thing is, like, I was thinking... Like, huh, what, what to specifically call Feki's, Feki's role, other than, like, the mod? I mean, you're not the only mod. There's also Lily, who still exists as a mod. Um. But then it just hit me, like, wait a minute, it's obvious, it's right there in front of us. She's the chat mom. Here's the C-dot. So cute. Uh, Becky also says, I prefer Daisy too. I already have this one, but I still enjoy the contemplation on the Psyduck. Finally, without headaches. Just at peace with nature. <laughs> Alvius, poor Pauline. It seems nobody likes her. I I've never played, um... What is it? Odyssey. I know, I know, insane, I know. Ooh. That's an all business Stantler. Move out of the way, he's got places to be. <laughs> no C dot November. <laughs> the C dot is Kawhi. Um, but yeah, and no offense to Pauline, I just haven't played, um, Odyssey, and I don't know, like, anything about her besides that she looks gorgeous. Akira, Kabu is extremely handsome in my opinion in Sword and Shield. I... oh man. Yeah, Kabu's great. It's weird because, like, in Sun and Moon, uh, when Natu happened, What's his name? Natsu. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm failing everyone. Um, the one with all of the, the Alolan Meowths. Like, to be honest, I didn't really get most people's love for him. And then Kabu happened, and I'm like, oh my god, Kabu's the best. Um, Alfie says, same spacey, but at least she became a mare. Uh, Becky, Pauline Loki reminds me of Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, kind of like Jessica Rabbit if she was more drawn, kid friendly. <laughs> no, Pauline is um, Jessica Rabbit after the whole Copa nonsense happened with YouTube. <laughs> Alpheus, y'all sleeping on my boy BD. <laughs> I love BD. I love how in the game he's just like little snide little shit and then just gets like thrown off to the side to like become like a softer like fairy prince boy. I love that. Uh, 
Hold on, I'm trying to make sure I don't like... Um... Miss anything. Crash Awake is up there for husband, no material for me. Good choice, good choice. But luckily, at least in Smash Bros, I can have Mario beat the crap out of Peach. <laughs> Uh, Galaxy says, basically, people love Rosalina because one feature in the game, in the hub, there's a library. We can listen to Rosalina tell a story to her Lumas. Aww, adorable. Uh, as more you progress in the game, you unlock more pages till you realize that the story is actually the backstory of Rosalina. Nice! That's cool! I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to watch- watch a Let's Play of Galaxy. Um, FBS. Hop is eh. I am not a big fan how the rivals are just kind of like cheering you on now. Hence why I love BD existing. Uh, Koro says Yusuke's husband though. Which Yusuke? There's so many Yusuke's. I'm assuming you mean from um, Persona 5. Yes. Good art boy. Becky, my mom got a Switch Lite for Christmas, so I got her playing Crash, Lane's Mystery Journal, and y y Luigi's Mansion 3. Yes. Effie says, Alistair has to be protected though, like his lead card is so pure. Also, Nessus is great. I love her, um, what's it called? What's it even called? Um, the, the second lead card you get, like the rare one. I love that. Also, um, up next, we are all out of the mini, mini, um, booster packs. Right now we have a Kyogre one. Yeah. Um, all Cosmic Eclipse, I think? Now, I've been disappointed before with these, like, giant pack deck things. Because I got a Pikachu one before. Because I think it was just like on sale at my work and I was just like, fuck it, why not? Because even though P Pikachu is like the mascot for Pokemon and I kind of was turned off by how popular he is like as I grow up and also because I have a soft spot for Ash Ketchum. Like as I grow up, I'm just like, you know what? Pikachu's, Pikachu's a good, Pikachu's a good. Ooh, I forget these come with coins. Eh. Look at this. Oh, my fingers are now in the way. There we go. <laughs> Fuck me, I need slave. I'm sorry, Becky. <laughs> um. Uh, Becky, I'm so dumb. I thought this room was about playing a Pokemon game. And I was like, hmm, this game's gonna be quick. But I just noticed the title. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This isn't me actually playing Pokemon. But this is a sweet foil Kyogre. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's going with the, with the special ones. Uh, Galaxy says, which can be described? Talking about Rosalina. My mom is dead, my family's neglecting, and when... This baby Luma lost her mother. I too felt so much pain that I've thrown everything. Ah, That's so adorable! <laughs> Kyogre! Yeah! And also with these, um, it comes with like... Mats? And stuff for like actually playing the game? Which I think are hella cool, even though I'm probably never gonna use them. Hence why I keep telling myself, like, oh, I should donate these. But this is pretty nice. Let me unfoil this. Uh, uh, God. Release. <laughs> this one corner just won't. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, so these I'm just gonna put aside. I'm not gonna trash them, I'm just gonna put them aside. 
Because why, 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 why trash them? Yeah, everyone has a brain fart. Alright, I'm gonna trash this box though, because like... Ooh, Unseen Depth themed, themed deck. That's what this specifically is. Now uh, Blanca says, so far enjoying Dragula Lost. Is that that anime you've been posting about with like the, the dragon waifus? Or just the monster waifus. Um, oh, Galaxy continuing says, and at the end of the book that the comet that passed us every hundred years is actually Rosalina's observatory. I come to see how the world has grown without her. Oh, that is all really sad. <laughs> Poor Rosalina. Oh no, no, you're talking about the mobile game. Oh my god, thank you, Becky. Thank you. You know, that the art for that game is so cute. Like, I'm debating getting it myself, but I know I don't have enough room for it on my phone. Uh, Becky says, I got a Persona 4 Arena art book for Christmas this year, and it's gorgeous. Uh... Okay, so because it's a theme deck, we have so many water energies. I'm gonna flip one of these upside down so I know where the end of this pack is. We got a nice Apom showing off his butt. It's a Nintendo mobile IP. Hell yeah. Ooh. Satan Liza. I don't remember these two. I'm assuming it's a Gen 5 thing. Ah, Pokemon Fan Club. I love the Pokemon fan sprites where it's just like a dad and his son or like a, a wife and like her daughter. Oh, here's your waifu Cynthia Blanco. Uh, Blanco says they had two crossover events that I missed out. Aw. Here's a Lily with a rainbow. Lily says K writes. Uh, Becky can't decide whether or not to get Tokyo Mirage this month. I've seen, I've, I've seen, I've heard good stuff about Tokyo Mirage. From what I heard, it's worth it. Here's a depressed Psyduck, <laughs> compared to like the good Psyducks we've had. We got Brittany Forest. <laughs> Blanco, Cynthia's not my waifu. Let's point that out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult you. Okay, so we have a Piplup, but like the way it's positioned, I don't know if that's like a fuck up, honestly. Like, I get it's bending down, but it just looks weird from the perspective. <laughs> that Psyduck is such a mood. Uh, it's me having to get up early for work tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Having to remember all the insurances and stuff. We have uh, another switch. We have the same Apom. We have a gold duck that's swimming. That looks creepy as hell, honestly, if I were to find that like in the water in the ocean. Carl says, unlock the little helper penny skin from Brawl Stars. Cool. Uh, Blanco says they had a Fire Emblem Heroes and a Mega Man crossover event. No, man, that Heroes one would be so cool. Um, uh, Galaxy saying, um, but explaining that when those Lumas will become stars, she will always look to them, shine in the sky. So yeah, I understand why people love her. She's the best mom. Good mom. Here's an epic Napoleon. Evan, please focus. 
There we go. There's a Pokemon communication card. <laughs> Same s sad Psyduck. Oh, here's Prinlove. Nice. So I think I have all three stages of that evolution. <gasps> Guys, you know how I, I love the yarn cards as well? Look at this one. <laughs> oh, roller skater. Cool, generic roller skater. Yeah, it's all in good fun. Ooh, nice legendary. Oh, hey, the evolution! It's in a different art, though. Same, same gist, though. Yeah, it's all in good fun, Blanco. Got more Tate and Liza, another gold duck. Ooh, how heard we were talking shit. How is fucking pissed. Like, that's the thing I don't like about how he's just always smiley. It's like, bruh, stop being so smiley. Same pip up, pip up. Same energies. We have a draw energy. I've never seen any of these. It will adjust. Uh, Blanco Dragula lost is getting another crossover event and it's Monster Hunter. Nice. Uh, Becky, stream on my TV, chat on phone in my hand, dog curled up on my hip watching the stream. Ah, that is so pure. Same Gold uh, Psyduck, same Cynthia. You see. The thing about these theme decks is that they're more for people who are like more into like the trading card game. So there are like a lot of duplicates and a lot of energies. Oh, here's the same Kyogre, but like not foiled. So that's pretty neat. I'm still gonna set that aside. Pokemon Fan Club, Energy, Switch, Piplup, Energy, Ow. Same ambium energy print up. Okay, and we're at the end. Blanca says by this point they might as well cross over with Smash Bros. Might as well. Oh, <coughs> oh god. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta take my meds. One second.
Okay. I'm back. Now. We are almost on here. We got one more. We got another one of those flat big boys. Let me just adjust my hoodie for a second. And it is... Sobble. This is the one I'm mostly excited for, just cause like, so Sobble's my starter. Although I'm still really glad. Oh, the thing's starting over. Hold on. Excuse me as I restart the thing. I know there's like a better way to like loop music, but like, I don't remember that. Yeah, to be honest, Akira, I didn't catch what, what you said or what you did. Excuse me as I take five years to open this box. Max wants to say hi. Hi, Max. Has Max been a good boy this holiday? Aha, I'm finally getting to it. Okay. So I am a little sad that it comes with the same Cementia card that we have. But it's okay, I can just like give it to a friend or something. Now, if I can get- there we go. Also, another pin I'm so gonna put in my bag. Right next to my Mega Evolution Swampert. Now, the Grokey card that comes with this is the same. But not the other two. So, like, I'll show off the other two. Here's Sobble. If it will do its thing. Maybe it's too... Is it not? Or am I just moving it too much? Hold on. Okay, it's just not gonna do the thing. But it's fine! And here's Score Bunny! Oh, now you're gonna adjust for Score Bunny. I see how it is. <laughs> it's a baby. Okay, so that's hella neat. <laughs> Must hug. Give all the good hugs. I'm just gonna put the other giant ass card, like, right on top of the other one. <laughs> Grokey gang, rise up though. You know, I'm- I'm- I'm not that big a fan of monkey Pokemon, to be honest. Otherwise I would've picked Grokey, because I'm a slut for grass types. Alright, so what do we have here? This is Cosmic Eclipse that I'm opening up. Oh! Cricketot. You know, I love Cricketot and um, the other evolution of Cricketot. Like, I had a Cricketot in, um, I forget what the fan game was called. What was that fan game called? <laughs> Do I... Uh... Don't mind me as I look up my own YouTube channel to see what fucking games I play on my channel. Uh, it was... Okay, I know I created a playlist for it. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, YouTube. Excuse me, as I have this brief 
Pokemon Reborn! Oh my god, that's what it was fucking car called. Ah, Krikatoon! That's what it's called. No, monkeys are cute, but Pokemon monkeys, not that big a fan of. No, I had a Krikatoon, um, that was like my main person in uh, Pokemon Reborn. And it's what made me love Krikatoon and Krikatot. Um, no, I was struggling to remember that name because me and my cousin were actually talking about um, Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks and stuff during Christmas. Okay, we got the same Apom. Woo, Bat! I think I have this one, but I still love Woo Bat so much. Alfie says, I was gonna pick Sobble, but then I saw his final evolution and said, Nope, Grokey, you're coming with me. As weird as the final evolution is... I don't know. I don't know. I, I I feel all of the final evolutions are not a letdown, but are just not what's expected. Here's Ducklet waving to its loved ones as they go out to sea on their magical adventures. Swirlix, I love me a Swirlix. I also had one in Pokemon Reborn. Ooh. Reverse Foil, Misty, and Lorelei. I love it. I might set that aside because it is a Reverse Foil. Marshadow. Oh my god, I just noticed. It's like a shadow, like it's spawning from Pikachu Shadow. Here I was like, where's its feet? Alpheus, I like the concept for Sabo so cool, but why is it so skinny? Uh, Blanco says, call that we get a Corgi theme in Gen 8. I mean, it, we were in Pokemon England. How could we not have a Corgi? Uh, Kara, you play Uranium, awesome! I did, but I'm so mad that I couldn't finish. Because I lost my saves. Like, I had a nuclear themed on um, Gyarados. That was my boy. That was my hefty boy. We have an energy. Mawel. Mawel with her girlfriends out on the town. <laughs> Opal's basically the queen. Basically. I think this is the same dust glops from before, but I'm showing it anyways. Or if not, then maybe I'm just thinking of one that I already have. Larvesta! Larvesta is another good one that I enjoy. And that's the end of that one. Oh man, we're getting towards the end. I say as it's been literally two hours. See, this is why I didn't record it separately from the stream, because I knew it was going to take forever. But I enjoy how forever it takes. Here is OG Staryu. Just basking out. Onyx, Weedle. Here's a different Machop. Gives me like Atlas vibes. Atlas being the Greek myth of Atlas, you know, like holding the world on his shoulders. Now, I've seen- uh, th this is like one of the earlier Pokemon cards that I remember owning. And I love it to death. I love how just like looking at it. It looks like there's more like a guy in here that's being tangled up by vines rather than the vines being part of the Pokemon. Um, I remember the one I used to have. I remember it fondly because like it even had like a crease in the middle because of how old it was. And then my cousin ended up stealing my Pokemon collection and I had to restart. Here's a foil energy card. I don't get the point of foil energy, but then, then again, I don't play the game, so I probably will never. Farfetch. 
I don't think I showed it on stream. <laughs> Lago, Game Freak knows, um, knows what when designing female characters. They know what the fans like. I mean, look at Lily. Her and her little sun hat. And then when she gets her, like, I don't need no mom, like, ponytail. Love it. Here's a maintenance guard. It's weird how most of these, and a potion, like, in this, um, pack, are mostly classic. Here's my joke. You flux on them, haters. And that's it for that one. Akira, oh no, it sucks that your cousin did that. Okay, this isn't the same cousin I was talking about seconds ago. I should reiterate, which makes this, um, which makes this sound even sadder. So I had a Pokemon stack, like, this high of cards. And, um, this cousin wasn't a blood cousin, it was, like, a step cousin. And I had my step cousin, like, borrow my cards. And then for some reason, he had it in his head that, like, they were his cards and not mine. And I'm opening the Cosmic Eclipse, I should say. And then, uh, my dad got a divorce from this family. So I never saw my cards or that cousin ever again. Uh, Coral says, the Object Show community is the weirdest and most underappreciated fandom ever. I never thought I would do Object Show type videos on my channel. But now here we are with Pokemon cards. Although, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just caught what Becky said, but I'll get to it. Um, I'm a little sad that like whenever I, or like a year ago, when I was looking up, like, Pokemon unwrapping videos from, like, popular channels. Just to see, like, oh, how the pros do it. And I'm a little sad. They just kind of, like, fan them out, barely even show them, and then just, like, toss them aside and go to the next one. Like, no. Like, I, I come to, like, see the cards. Ah, uh, Becky. Excited for the Thomas Sanders member stream tonight. Hope to hear more SS content. I'll let you know if there's an update. Yes! Ah, man. I can't wait. When I was laughing at, um, Becky autocorrect tried to change Spacey to Stacy. <laughs> Stacy, my alternate universe self. Yeah, we had the same Krikatot, same Rubat, same Ducklet. I already have this one, but I'm gonna show it anyways. Helioptile. That this is the card I thought of when that other um, Helios showed up. Ah, Cosmog. I also think I have this one. But how can you say no to Cosmog? You know, it was the biggest plot twist. Um. Because for some reason, looking at Cosmog, like, I never would have expected that it would be connected to, like, um... I'm forgetting the names, but the two legendaries in Sun and Moon. Ooh. Reverse Foil. Glorigus. Look at that booty on her. <laughs> Recently, I did have a discussion with, like, some friends in my roommates about like how horny some of the Pokemon artists are. Not not just like on the internet, I mean like in Game Break. Cause like, look at this and tell me someone out there on the internet doesn't want to fuck that. No shame, I'm just saying. Y'all be horny. <laughs> yeah, cool that we got a legendary that can evolve. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was so cool and so out there and unexpected. <laughs> Oof, Lou Bunny. <laughs> Slazzle, though. <laughs> Flocko, get back in the bag, Nebby. 
Becky, I'm dying. Toss a coin to your Witcher has been added to Beat Saber. Because I've been busy with holiday stuff, I have yet to watch The Witcher. I can't wait for that to get stuck in my head. Here's a foil wishy-washy. Wishy-washy. We got an electric energy. Oh, that's cool! Okay, even though this is just a trainer card, I'm totally setting this aside because it's fucking red and blue. And they actually look 10 years old. I love it. Ah, oh, Rotom! What did you do to that old hospital, Rotom? Are you just the cryptid that lives in the hospital now? Ooh, we have a type no card! Now, last year I got a um, type null, or is it Savali? Either way, one of those. Um, I got like a big trainer box themed on um, on this one, and I'm surprised I didn't get a type null card. Or maybe I got a Sylvie, but not type null. Okay, guys. I had to double check, but this is it. <laughs> Lots of good Pokemon. Oh, Gardevoir, Gothitile. Oh, Becky says, I want to watch more Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't want to watch the other series because life or death battles fought with children's card game is one thing. But card games on motorcycles weird. I know it became a big meme, but it is a little weird. But this is the last one. It is an Unbroken Bonds. Ooh, let me get my object showing hands. I say as I cover words going on here. Watch this all be like holographic e EX mega evolutions. Okay. Is it weird? I have literal chills over what this last card's gonna be. Or last pack, I should say. Okay. So we have Carvana, who has just killed a possible family of five. Let's hope they get to safety soon before their boat sinks. Got a soft litten. I enjoy that soft Lynn. Another soft Clefairy. To be honest, I'm not that big a fan of how they drew Clefairy's face. But it's very storybook-esque. Seal, seal. <laughs> Lynn. Oh, Gilliger. G G Gilligar? Looks like they just took, like, the basic sprite and just, like, photoshopped it next to a cave. <gasps> Greninja! That's a cool-ass Greninja. That's- that's a lot of, like- Ooh, it's reverse foil, too. Is it? Yeah, it is. I like the environmental storytelling. Like, it's about to kick that Charizard's ass. The Charizard might be bigger than it, but it's a water type against a fire type. Lanko, my secondary in Smash! Cool! <laughs> Here's another perug per uh, perugly. <laughs> so smug. I like how the first one is like on a sofa, and this one it's just like, yeah, give me a fucking bath. I fucking. Get the fuck over here. Bathe me, slave. We got a water energy. Now, Kira, it's pronounced, um, Gil Igar. Yeah, I realized that y'all already helped me with that pronunciation earlier, and then I just completely forgot it. As we were doing this. Uh, Becky, so I replayed Three Houses since they added Juritsa as a support in Dam. A little info from him, from him has left me shook. 
Is it bad that next time I play Three Houses, I might try Edrietza Romance just to see how that pans out? Um, Alpheus Perugli gets fed grapes. <laughs> just grapes on their velvet sofa. We have a water energy, an electromagnetic radar. <laughs> Wild Beef Fan. Ooh. Frogadier! I don't think I have a single Frogadier. So that's neat. Trying to remember if I have a Faroki. I might have one Faroki. Uh, Becky says, I did a Dreads of Romance. So it's fine. He's bi. Yeah, that's, that's mostly why. Because he's the only other like, mill romance character, that's like a for sure romance and not just like some weird father-son thing. Lako says, speaking of which, I need to remake Three Houses to your list. Ooh, Beastbringer. Neat, neat. And that's the last one! Oh my god. Look at this big stack that I now get to fan art fan out I should say on my floor and sort awesome cards you got thank you I am really surprised especially with these I'm just gonna show them off again especially these if it will focus Aha! Uh -huh. And this one. And this one. There we go. And fucking darker eye. Come on. There we go. And also this one, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. And the Kyogre. Oh. I realize the camera doesn't like my face, so it's better. And these two trainer ones. Yep, yep, yep. How do I do things? I think that's that that that's all I'm gonna do. Um, thank you. Jareed says romance is kind of like a romance with Lad and his wife in the white dress in uh, Picano, except Bailiff is tougher than that lady. Nice. Yeah, and I heard there's gonna be a side story expansion. How that's gonna go? <laughs> Let, let's hope it goes well. All right. So, do any of y'all have a favorite that you remember from, like, the group? Any, any of those that has stuck out for any of you? I know I said, like, I probably won't get to it today, but now that we've unwrapped all of them, I, 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 I just wanna, I, I just wanna just pour, pour over them all. I have no idea what I want to do with the Galar starters, though. Like, I don't know if I want to add them to my main binder, add them to my mini binder, because they're, like, more special. I don't know. Uh, Blanca says, I'm hoping they show more members of who, um, oh, the, those who slither in the dark. It'd be cool if they, like, delved more into, like, their backgrounds. Uh, Becky, since I know little about Pokemon, I'll just say the depressed Psyduck resonates with me quite well. <laughs> the Psyduck that's just like, ah, oh no. Um, let's see if I can... Oh my god, there's so many. Um... 
So many here. Um, oh, um, the snow run that was like in the fridge. That's another fave of mine. Also, again, some of the um, some of the um, yarn like Pokemon or like the claymation Pokemon are pretty cute. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Lago says I'm disappointed with the who slithers in the dark, especially Coronia. Granted, I've only played one route still, because there's so many games that exist. But I, I, I'm sad that you only see them for like five seconds and then they're fucking dead. And, um... Words. Words that I was going to say. Oh yeah, um, even though I've mentioned before that I'm not a big fan of Ducklet, um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised about, like, um, the one, like, really soft card where it's just, like, in the water. Peggy says, I want a Cronia figure just because her aesthetic was on point. She had a really nice character design. Again, sad to see it used and then gone in like five seconds. Blame how OP Baylith is. Yeah, I, I think that's all I have for y'all. Sadly. I say sadly as it's been like two hours, maybe more than two hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah, nice stream. Nice Pokemon cards. Thank you for joining me. I hope to do this again next year. Like I said, I recorded one for last year. I just never posted it. Uh, but still. Uh, can't wait to see how much my Pokemon collection grows and to share it with you all. Aunt Blanca and this first female side villain that is in a mage for once. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Now, uh, Becky, by the way, Spacey, you asked if I knew Christmas games. I didn't realize it till recently. You could have played Christmas Shopper Simulator. You know, years ago, before I started streaming, like, I was obsessed with Let's Plays of Christmas Shopping Simulator. And I tried looking for it for my channel, but, like, for some reason, all the links that I found were, like, dead links. Like, they didn't actually have the game. I don't know if that's changed. <laughs> I get, like I said, it's been years, so things could change. But, um, if I do find a copy of Cross Christmas Shopping Simulator, that is definitely on the table. Because I love the insanity that's in that game. At Blanco, totally okay with Mama Aversa. They buffed her thighs in Heroes. Only her thighs. <laughs> I love that distinction. Oh, Becky, you could have asked me. I used to work for... You used to work for the game? What? <clears throat> Sorry. Well, also, this was back before I knew you. If I knew you back then, and I knew you had a link, I totally would have hit you up. But yeah, first, first I'll see if I can find it on my own, and if I still can't, then I'll hit you up. Oh! Okay, game as in the game store. Okay. Context. <laughs> game the real retail shop. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for joining me on this... Pokemon Adventure. Uh, next time is actually going to be Saturday, which is two days from now, and we're going back to Danganronpa, solving some cases. <laughs> I forget it's GameStop in America. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll figure out who murdered Mew. 
Cool stream. Thank you, Akira. Thank you. I'm glad y'all enjoyed. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be Saturday, so I can't wait because, like, a lot- hopefully a lot more people will show up than typical because no one will be in school anymore. Uh, Becky says, I got the Neon Cave to play it, and they didn't realize the game was a real thing. <laughs> Yeah, I missed y'all so much. Can't wait for Saturday. Let's get it. And I'll see y'all sometime in the future. Bye! And happy holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Happy New Year. Bye!